Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Fresh King Johns back with the, another Life is Strange video, man. Last episode, we found out Rachel Amber was dead. Chloe got shot. And we found out in the sneak preview that Max is in the dark room, indeed, in the dark room, being drugged by Mr. Jefferson. Let's get into it. This is the last episode. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. I mean, oh God, Max, look. She's they, still there. They know I did more. Oh, no. Chloe. How? What the fuck? Damn. This game just keeps getting stranger and stranger. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Life really is strange, yo. I hope y'all got y'all snacks ready. I hope y'all got y'all's popcorn ready, whatever. Cause this is about to be a juicy one. We in the dark room. Chloe. What? Uh, Max, Chloe did. Chloe did. It's dark room.
Is anybody out there? Please help! Every time I see this, help! somebody help me. Every time I see this, I immediately think of Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> Finally, I'm free. Almost. Uh, let's see if we can pull it. looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Damn, Max, look at you. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Watch how he talking to me. Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. That's crazy. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Look at this dude. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Bruh, look at this dude. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Oh, you just don't listen, do you? In fact, 
You never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take the oh. shot. So where is Jefferson in this like real time, like right here alive? Where is he? Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. That. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Uh, he's just as sick as you. I don't know why you're talking about that. Nathan is just as sick as your ass. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. Yeah, that makes two. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? 
Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Fag. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. <sighs> Chloe and Rachel. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? Why? What? They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? This man Jefferson has completely lost it. Why? Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't... This man Jefferson is lethal. He's on a killing spree. He's on a killjoy from Halo right now. And that that's bad because Max, we're skinny, we're short, we can't do nothing. Um, we're fucked right now. Keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. One question that I have, though, like, I have two questions. Number one, what was Arcadia Bay gonna, what was Arcadia Bay gonna, what was Arcadia Bay going to think? about all these disappearances like okay rachel disappeared chloe disappeared nathan disappeared and even you know he planned max disappeared how does all four of them vanish in less than a year than than a year you know and question number two is you bro you're mark jefferson bro you could probably get any one of these girls to consent for you if you would just ask why do all why go through all the trouble of hard work why spend all this stupid money on all these i mean you were going to need the drugs eventually to get them in that innocence but you're mark freaking jefferson for crying out loud bruh like females throw themselves at you they would do anything for you if you just ask why go through the trouble of of being at a vortex club party drugging them kidnapping them i just don't get it you can't blame all this on nathan i don't care what you do to me you're gonna die motherfucker for chloe and rachel and everybody else I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard, so I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. 
I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh. Wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Bro, what did he plan to do with all these pictures, bruh? You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Oh, I will do so much better. You'll see. That's fine, hey. Oh my god. I could go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your oh, chance to fix one. everything. This for good. This is purity personified. Like, what did you plan to do with all these photos? Make art out of them? They probably plan to make art out of them somehow. A new... I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. He said it since the beginning of the game. He can capture any one of you in a dark corner in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Ooh, ooh, ooh. They, they went there. They went there. They allowed us... They gifted us with these options. I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <sighs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, let's move uh, on. Anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Oh, I want to rewind. because it gave so the subjects bad. clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes come. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the artwork. First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Man, I wanted to rewind so bad. Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Oh, man. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Damn, I wanted to rewind so bad. Um, cell phone. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text. Okay, okay, leave that number there. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. <laughs> she said, 
the de- okay, okay, the Daguerrean process, process, blah blah blah. We get it. Like, uh. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. In Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. God bless you, Kate. I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. Oh, okay, so that's how her power works. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Yeah. Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo and... Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Take his ass to jail. Both of them.
Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Good work. Good bucket. Almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. To admit, I love being called an artist. I can't wait to land in Frisco. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Excellent work. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. 
After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wow, sir, Max. Die. You did it. Somehow. I went from the- Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. There it is, right there. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say, artists instead. I heard Mark J. Are you Max more. Caulfield? That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs too. Hold on. Look at this print. It always be the ones that you don't expect to do even. not understand. How do these galleries afford to rent here? This makes me feel so That is different. Good. Loving Good. the retro exposure. Vibe. Me too. Bad framing. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. Who is that? Ennis Cantor? You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. That really looked like Ennis Cantor, yo. The one in the green shirt with the long sleeve uh, underneath it. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Sick. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! I guess everybody is a photographer now. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Wait, Max just jumping through all different sorts of realities, ain't she? Oh shit! Oh my head! What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. 
Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Oh my god. Jefferson should be in jail. This not nigga. Here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you know, burned my diary. I'm always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Damn. David? No, David! Damn. No! Jesus! David Madsen! He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you thought wrong. I promise you, no more nosebleed. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. 
How can I deny that face? Um. One last picture, please. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Look at his eyes, bro. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Uh-huh, yep. Hey, 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Wow. David Matson. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Stop it. <laughs> you thought it ended right there? You thought it ended there? Oh, it's over. You are not Brother, going no. to stop me. <laughs> Sorry, Madsen. You should have stuck to harassing students. Wow. Okay. <laughs> he thought it ended there. It's over. You are not Brother, God, going no. to stop Got it. <laughs> oh, Christ. David Madsen, you are one stupid son of a bitch. So don't blame me. <laughs> How did Jefferson get there so fast? That's my question. It's over. You David, are not going to table. stop me. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Damn, David. David you trash. <laughs> you trash. That mustache. You hated him too, Max. This dude, David, is trash right now. He in last place on Call of Duty. There's only one way around this. I need to figure this out. What is it talking about? My game just glitched. There's only one way around this. My game just glitched, y'all. What is it talking about, Hotel Tutor? That's all you can do. Stop before you hurt yourself. Damn. Oh my, oh my gosh, bro. My game just glitched. My game glitched. It kept saying hold L2 to rewind, but when I did it, it just kept repeating. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. God, no. I'm back here again. I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, 
but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. If Jefferson got me like this, bro, I I'm promise this final dose won't hurt. His round tables is so open right now, bro. Ain't her leg free? Ain't her right? Ain't her right leg free? Probably not. Probably not. Probably you still got the head. You can still you can still head, but him in the dick, like you know what I'm saying? Don't just sit there. Hurt. No! Jesus! David Madsen! We already heard this lecture from you, you fucking idiot. No more nosebleeds. Wait! Hold on! Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... Request? Oh... You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Look at this man's eyes, bruh. I promise this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. <laughs> David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get. Bro, we already heard this. It's over. You are not going Grab to stop me. I just... No. No, going to stop What? Going to... What? Going to stop... 
Okay, we're going to stop. To the table. Going to st Going to stop. He's hiding a gun over there. Sorry, Madsen. Okay. Deja vu. Stop! What? Going to stop me! Going to stop me! Or stop me! Or stop me! Going to stop me! Max, are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Another thing, David, ain't you from the military, my guy? How can you not whip a, a art teacher? Nigga got his ass beat by a tripod, bruh. Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Mm. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? Hmm? Oh? Oh? I mean, we gonna go save her, so I mean... You know what I'm saying? David, um... She was pretty stressed out, so... Um, she went to go... Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So... She's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. And use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher, let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. Jefferson will end up in jail, but Chloe is dead. Oh, Rachel. Not for oh, long. Anybody. What is he even looking at, bro? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. No. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you. For the last time. There's How no way I'm leaving you? your necklace here. How? You are gonna fry for Frank this. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Facts. They killed. They killed Rachel.